Hey, my name is Ryan, and I'm on a number one with fries and a tea. I can't hear you! I said my name is Ryan, and I want a number one with fries and a tea. Well, I can't hear you. I know you're tired of that happening to you. You're trying to order something, and people are just not hearing you, or you're talking loud, and they're not hearing you. Let me tell you why they're not hearing you. When it comes to your posture, the main thing is your head. Your head weighs about 10 to 11 pounds, meaning that you have a pretty big head. You and I both do. So if your head is tilted like this or in some kind of weird, awkward way, it's gonna affect your voice. Here's an example of that. If you talk with your head down like this and you say, hey, how are you? And then hold your head up and say, hey, how are you? You'll see the difference. It'll seem like your voice is trapped in your throat the first time First is when you let it out. So if your posture is okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if it's okay, you'll be able to speak normally and you won't be straining your voice trying to get it out. Because if your voice can't come out normally or something's blocking it, it's gonna struggle to get out, meaning that you're gonna strain your voice, which makes it harder, which makes it seem like your voice is just trapped and it's stuck. And if it feels trapped, it's gonna be hard to get it out, which will make your throat hurt, which will make you not be heard, which will make you not wanna talk anymore to begin with. And it just ends up being a long cycle. But the thing about having a bad posture is the first thing is not to beat yourself up about it because in this day and age, everybody's on a computer, laptop, iPad, or some kind of electronic where you're just looking down at it all day. And you're pretty much just looking at it. And if you do that for too long, it affects your neck, which affects everything else I just talked about. Something else that'll stop you from being heard and make it to where you'll never be heard by people is by holding on to what happened before, which could also be called shame. Say if you're talking to somebody or you're trying to order something and they didn't hear you, and this happens multiple times, and that ends up leading to you just constantly reliving that scenario out in your head, that situation, and now you just believe every time you try to talk up, you're not gonna be heard. And you're at the point now to where you just don't even talk up at all because you feel like it's gonna continue to happen. Let's say for example, you try to order some food at a restaurant or at a fast food place, you're going through the drive-thru and you order a Big Mac, some nuggets and some fries. And the person just hears the entire thing wrong. And then now you're frustrated, they're frustrated because you have to repeat yourself you're frustrated because you have to repeat yourself and now everybody's frustrated. You relive that enough and it'll make you just not wanna talk in general or even attempt to speak louder at all. You can think of shame like an anchor, not a physical anchor, but more of a mental anchor. And the longer you hold on to it, the more it'll just hold you down. So in a way, you have to work past that and not beat yourself up for not being heard at all because it happens to everybody. Something else that'll stop you from being heard is premeditated thoughts. Premeditated thoughts are thoughts you have before you speak. So say if somebody you dislike tries to talk to you and you're thinking in your head that this person better not come over here because I don't like them. Why are they here? Why were they born? Stuff like that. But if you're thinking like that before you begin to even talk to the person, you're gonna already have a bad experience or bad interaction with the person, even if you got a fake smile on, but you're at the same time, you're being passive aggressive in your mind. So look at it like this. What you focus on, you think about. What you think about affects your mood and your mood affects your body. The same thing happens vice versa with the body. If you don't take care of your body, you're gonna be in a bad mood. If you're in a bad mood, you're gonna think bad thoughts or negative thoughts. If you're thinking bad negative thoughts, you're gonna focus on the bad negative aspects, aus the aspects of everything around you. So let's go back to the person you dislike approaching you. If you're in that situation and you're thinking, you're already thinking about what, why you don't like this person, why this person shouldn't talk to you, you're focusing on what you dislike about the person. So now you're gonna think about what you don't like about the person and now your attitude toward that person is gonna change because now you really don't like this person. And it's gonna show in your body by showing in your voice and also most likely your body language too because we all know when you actually wanna to talk to somebody, your voice is in a better mood. If you're in a bad mood, your voice is gonna be probably more, not deep, but less lively compared to somebody you actually wanna to talk to about something you wanna talk about. 
So if we were to take that same example and change it to you ordering something, if you believe that ahead of time that you're not gonna be heard, think about what I just said with the focus to body. You're focusing on you're not gonna be heard. So now you think you're not gonna be heard. Now you feel like you're not gonna be heard. And now that all goes down to your body, which is gonna be like, you're not gonna be heard because you've already thought about it and your mind and body are both connected to each other. That's how that whole thing plays out each and every time that happens to you. Another reason you might not be being heard when you try to speak is that it's a good chance you might be dehydrated. When it comes to being dehydrated, it's kind of self-explanatory, but I'll break it down for you. When you're dehydrated, you're not really gonna have energy and you need energy to be able to talk. And since your voice is a muscle, if that muscle don't have water and it's not hydrated, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be straining, which makes your voice even worse. And on top of that, water helps your entire body from your brain all the way down to your toes. Everything in your body needs water. So if you don't have water in your body, you're not really gonna be able to function that well, including your voice, because with your voice, you need more than just your voice. You need your lungs, you need your face, the muscles in your face, your diaphragm, you need all of that to work. And all of that can't work unless you have water in your body. So if you're ever feeling dehydrated or if you feel like your throat's dry, just drink some water and that should help you. Or if you feel like you're about to go to an event and you didn't drink water the day before, drink some the day of and you should be okay. So you know if you don't drink water, you're gonna be dehydrated, which is gonna make it harder for you to speak. So the water part, that's one part of having energy. The next part as to why you're not being heard is the second part of energy, which is food. You're hungry. Or if you're like me, you'll get hangry. So this one's also kind of self-explanatory. So if you're hungry and you're trying to talk, it's a good chance you won't be heard. Depending on the level of hungry or hangry that you are, if you've gone a good while without eating and you just feel like you can't think straight or you're having anxiety out of nowhere, it's a good chance you're at that point to where you need to eat something because you're gonna be hangry. And if you're hungry, that I means most likely you don't have food in your body, which means that you don't have energy, which is gonna make it harder to speak. Because if you don't have energy, your body's gonna pull it from somewhere. And if you don't, it's most likely gonna strain your voice too. Unless you're using proper speaking techniques, which you can find in this video right here, that'll help you speak louder with ease without having to yell. So when you're hungry and you don't have the energy, what it does is mainly it affects your muscles, just like with the water, it affects your muscles, but in a different way. If you don't have energy for your muscles to move, they won't be able to move, meaning that they won't be able to help you to speak louder or probably speak at all, because you have to have energy to speak in general. You burn energy to talk, whether it seems like it or not. 